Am I ready? <clears throat> Y'all, excuse me. The pollen count is way up today, if you, if you haven't noticed. We thank you all for coming. This is a, a very exciting moment for South Carolina, something that we've uh, been working for uh, for a few months now, and we're making progress. We've got a long way to go, but we had a, me a meeting over at the, at the governor's mansion this morning, and Dave Tepper, the owner of the Carolina Panthers, was there, as well as a lot of his team, that is his his legal team and his uh, official, not the players, but the rest of his team. And our team was there as well. We had many of the House members and senators that you see here, as well as cabinet officials, Department of Transportation, Department of Commerce. And we were all there. And it was a, it is a unified effort. This is the kind of thing that we've done before in South Carolina with great success, bringing exciting new uh, ventures whether it's manufacturing or other things to South Carolina. And this is an opportunity that we're working on now with the Carolina Panthers with Mr. Dave Tepper. We met there and they have expressed interest in potentially moving 150 employees, including the following, into South Carolina. Players, coaches, teaching, uh, training staff, senior and mid-level management people, legal, accounting, human resources, marketing, information technology, analytics, communications, related front office and back office position, a ground crew to a site to be located potentially in York County or Lancaster, Lancaster County, South Carolina. The annual payroll for federal tax purposes of the employees of the Carolina Panthers that would be relocated to South Carolina is estimated at least $190 million a year, and that's for players, coaches, and other personnel. If the facility is built here, the, that would include practice fields, parking areas and facilities, offices and other uh, ancillary facilities necessary are desirable for the facility and its success and will include an estimated investment of at least $150 million within a four-year period. The Carolina Panthers are a great team. Dave Tepper is a great entrepreneur, businessman. He's very generous. He's highly regarded uh, all across uh, the United States. We're delighted that they are interested in, in our wonderful state. And they're interested in creating a state-of-the-art professional sports medical facility at the same location with their corporate partner, Atrium Health, who were there with us this morning as well, along with top flight hotel and convention meeting space, restaurants and retail facilities, all in York County or Lancaster County. So we're working hard. We've got Team South Carolina is a concept, that, a phrase we've been using for a number of years, but it really is a reality. And it was on vivid display at the governor's mansion this morning where we had 24 people sitting around the table and others in, around behind us, and questions were raised, answers uh, given, and it was a delightful meeting, and we are very hopeful that this will, will come about. And I assure you, that the people you see here before you and others as well have been working on this, all working on it, and we are proud to be involved in this process for the great five million happy, proud South Carolinians, because this will be a great step forward. And I assure you, South Carolina is a great team, and we're working towards it. So to, to answer questions and make up some further explanations, I call on the President of the Senate, Senator Harvey Peeler. Thank you, Governor. Yes, sir. To borrow an old phrase, it truly is a great day in South Carolina. It's great news, not if, but when the Panthers move their operations to South Carolina, York County will win the Economic Development Super Bowl. We're excited about it, so excited. Uh, today, we're introducing companion legislation in the Senate and in the House. Uh, Majority Leader Seminole will talk about the House, House bill, but the companion legislation we're dropping today. The Senate bill is co-sponsored by the entire York County Senate delegation the Chairman of Finance, uh, Senator Malloy. We have a cross-section of bipartisan support uh, for this. We are very, very excited about it. Uh, some of the general things about the bill that we're dropping, it will allow professional sports teams to qualify for job tax credit and job development tax credit. That means the type of employees pretty much defines what a football player is and the minimum amount of hours required to qualify for these tax credits. It defines a professional sports team. It defines a professional sports park. 
like a practice fields and facilities, defines members of a professional team, not just the active players, but the disabled list and other required travel folks that perform the necessary services. To say we're excited about it in the upstate uh, is an understatement. Like the governor said, uh, we met this morning, uh, we met the, the owner, the new owner, uh, as mentioned, Jerry Richardson, uh, that started the Panthers. Uh, he's, he's the foundation of this team, and now the new owner is going to build for, uh, for better and brighter days and hopefully a, a, a sure enough Super Bowl. That's Thank you. Right. Thank you. Senator Hugh Lowman, Chairman. Governor, thank you. What an exciting day it is. Uh, I spent a lot of time with Mr. Tepper's uh, team, came in, talked to me, and uh, what I heard I really liked. I'm excited about what we're hoping to get here, and I believe we will get here. As the uh, details uh, <clears throat> go ahead and develop, I want to look at those. I want to see how much involvement the state will be uh, involved in in bringing this here and making it happen. Governor, I believe it will happen. So I'm very excited, and as Senator Peeler just mentioned, uh, I signed on the legislation. I think it's good. I think it's good for the state. I'm excited about us moving into this area because it's something we don't have in South Carolina today. And I think it'll come about again. Mr. Tepper, thank you and your team for coming. Meet with me, help me understand the issues, and we're excited. Look forward to working with you and your team. Thank you, thank Governor. You, thank you, Mr. Speaker Jay Lucas. Yes, sir. Thank you, Governor. Um, the Carolina Panthers' motto has always been a very simple one, but a very poignant one for residents of the Palmetto State. One team, two states. And I believe they have lived by that motto. The Carolina Panthers have been corporate citizens that have donated much to South Carolina, but make no mistake about it. Um, a professional football team is a big business, and it involves much, much more than where you play your football games. The business of football, as the governor stated, uh, involves where you are headquartered, where your practice fields are, where your um, facilities are to deal with medical issues. The fact that the Carolina Panthers are going to play in North Carolina but move their football operations and their vast payroll to South Carolina is something that um, I never thought I would see. I'm excited about it. I'm excited for York County. I'm excited for Lancaster County. I'm excited for the entire state. Carolina Panthers will truly become um, one team in two states. Um, Governor, I want to thank you for your leadership on this issue. Um, we pulled together 24 folks in a record amount of time because of your leadership and um, Mr. Tepper, you can't help but be impressed with him because the questions he asked this morning weren't about what we could do for the Carolina Panthers, but what could the Carolina Panthers do for South Carolina. And that's what you have to be impressed about. So I'm excited. This is a great day for South Carolina. This is a big business, a business that wants to be in the state, continuing our great trend of luring um, um, tire companies, Mr. Smith, car companies, and now a football team. What an outstanding day it is for the state. Thank you, Governor. Yeah, thank you. Gary Simmel, majority leader in the House. Thank you, Governor. And the Speaker said it best, you know, college football in South Carolina is one state, two teams. This is one team and two states, and it plays, Governor, into everything that you have talked about, that you believe in, your leadership on this. Uh, you've done it with alacrity. Thank you for that. We are really on the precipice of what is great about South Carolina. We talk about the legislation that is being introduced in the House and in the Senate. But I'll tell you, the Panthers, as they look to South Carolina, they are givers. They aren't takers. So they want to be part of South Carolina, part of Team Carolina. And we're going to make this happen uh, for the Panthers to be coming to South Carolina is monumental for all of us. It is a crowning jewel on what you, sir, have worked for, on what we stand for, that South Carolina is the best place to work and to live and to play football. And we're going to do this, we're going to do it right, and we appreciate the support that is behind me because that is what makes it happen. It truly is the team in making this happen. 
They have a great team. In Rock Hill, South Carolina, the motto for us is Football City USA. That's known nationally, Mr. Clymer, because of the talent that comes out of Rock Hill. Now we have talent coming to South Carolina, and we welcome them with open arms. Thank you. Are there any questions? Yes, ma'am. Well, mostly he was speaking about what he wanted to do for South Carolina. But uh, Chairman Leatherman and, and others brought up the question of those, those sorts of things. Those are details that will be worked out at a later date. This is at the beginning of a process. But as you know, we have had great success with the team that you see here and others in making these deals work. And I'm confident that South Carolina is putting its best foot forward. We have a great team, and we want to attract this great team to South Carolina. No, ma'am. Nothing at this time. But again, with all, with, with BMW, with uh, Boeing, with all these other companies, with Volvo, we've got great experience in the cabinet as well with, uh, with the highway, uh, uh, Department of Transportation, with uh, Christy Hall was there with us this morning, Hartley Powell from the Department of Revenue, Ray Farmer from the Department of Insurance. Uh, we had the whole team there to meet with the representatives of the Panthers and, of course, primarily the owner of the Panthers, Mr. Tuck. Um, and will the campus be developing these other amenities, the hotels, the stores, that kind of thing, or would that be other folks will be developing that? That's, that is a, it, it will be a, a collaboration, but we believe that this will be a magnet for, for all sorts of enterprises, some associated with football and some not. But one, one big part of this, as we mentioned, is the atrium, the, uh, the, the hospital, medical services. This for sports medicine, this would, this would be a, a great thing, uh, not only for South Carolina and, and, and the, the players, but, but for the people of South Carolina and people around the country. When you bring this type of quality, this type of high profile professionalism into an area, Things just things happen as we've seen it happen around BMW, Boeing, and other places. Well, the timetable in terms of what's your timetable? We're moving it as you could tell with the legislation being introduced and already worked out today with uh, with this this team here that we're moving as fast as we can without making mistakes. And the second part of that is what about North Carolina? Any concern about North Carolina like we did? We're not concerned about that. We are thinking about South Carolina. We know that we can outrun anyone. <laughs> not necessary. All there, there are no, there are no discussions of that to this point. Right now, the legislation is that that would allow uh, tax credits for for these kind of enterprises. Should we expect that? We will know when the those details are negotiated and worked out. There have been such discussions and discussions concerning every other subject that you could bring up. As I, as I mentioned, this, this, this team has, this South Carolina, the leadership here in South Carolina has been, been working hard in exploring all those questions, but there have been no decisions made because uh, as of right now, we don't know what Mr. Tepper's decision is going to be. Yes. I, I will let someone who can explain that better explain that better. Well, and I think the framework behind the legislation, this is the first foray of having a professional sports team in South Carolina. So the Panthers aren't asking for something. They're, they're givers, they're not takers. But they need to be treated just like any other business, an insurance business, a manufacturing business that comes to South Carolina. Defining those terms that we already have in statute that allow job tax credits, uh, what goes with that type of legislation. So this really defines a professional sports team and the privileges uh, that go with that.
And, 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 and one, one other thing about this too, David Tepper, if you've met him and know him, he's a man with a big heart, he's a man with big plans. And so, Allison, as we look at everything that is surrounding uh, the Panthers and them coming to South Carolina, uh, it's gonna be big. And so we, we want to work with them in every facet that we can as a state to make sure that that happens. And, and let, what, one other thing, of all the, when something like this is done, as we've seen with BMW and Boeing and other places, other, other industries, other business come around. We know also that Mr. Tepper is interested in soccer, for example. But uh, Gerald Malloy knows something about how soccer is sweeping the country. Thank you, Governor. Uh, first of all, I want to thank the governor for, as in any good team, they got to have a good owner, have a good coach, and a good quarterback. And our, our governor has been all three. It was a great meeting this morning. I think that the governor is absolutely correct, and thank um, Mr. Simmerill and the chairman for talking about, and Senator Peel for talking about the legislation. South Carolina has to be ready to receive a sports team. And so what we don't have is we don't have the, the right mechanisms, right structure to, to, to receive it. What they talked about was a professional football team, but also their steps for maybe a, a professional soccer team. As you see what's happening over the country, particularly in um, states like Washington, um, it is into sort of a craze. And so when we start to bring other um, uh, sports teams here, we're creating jobs, we're creating the mechanisms that we need to make our state even more prosperous and great. So I want to thank the governor and the rest of the team for, uh, for, for coming forward, and we're ready to end up submitting the legislation today just to set the framework to receive them. Well, I think, that, I think what they're talking about is first steps. And so today we're just talking about the legislation that we're, that we're having. It goes exactly what they have said before. But obviously, once you start, you're able to end up growing on it. Have so thank you. Last question. Have any specific sites been located? I'll let the governor that, end up. You, that, that would be, uh, Mr. Tepper would be the one to answer those, those kind of questions. What's the time, what's the time, what's the time frame that Mr. Tepper wants to do? Now. So you want to start construction this we're year? All, no, we, we, there's, a, there's a lot of work and decisions to be made before we get to construction. But we're moving as quickly as we can. This, what, did he, what did he say his desire was to open this facility? So, someone asked him, when do you want to get started? And he said, now. But he was talking about making really these decisions. Did he say he wanted to open it by the no. training camp? No. Year? Those are questions for him, and he did not, he did, we did not discuss those things. It's time. They, it's, a, it's very important. It's a big deal. And thank you.